if you believe that the world is going to shit, you will see all of the ways that the world is going to shit. Today, we're going to be talking about how you create your own reality. Now, what do I mean by you create your own reality? Well, what channel are you tuning into every single day? Uh, let me give you an example. If I go in and I go to, I, I always think of when I think of this, I think of like an old TV. Remember the TVs used to be able to turn the knobs for some of you older people, for you young bucks, you may have never seen these, but there used to be TVs where you could turn the knob and it would click from one station to another, right? And whatever station you tune into, you're going to pick up that station, right? So if I want to tune into, um, you know, like I'll just use this as an example. If I want to turn into Fox News, I can go to that channel. But if I want to go to CNN, I can go to that channel. If I want to go to ESPN, I can go to that channel. I want you to realize that at every moment in time, no matter what's going on in your life, you are tuning in to some channel. And you are actually in charge of what channel you're tuning into. Now, this, for some of you guys, is going to be like, yeah, no shit, that makes a lot of sense. For some of you guys, it's going to be a giant wake-up call. For whoever you are that are out there, I'm going to tell you, number one, I'm going to talk about the channels that you're tuned into. And then after that, I'm going to teach you how to change the channel if it's not the life that you want. So if your current reality is not the reality that you want, well, which means if you're watching this or if you're listening to this, you are probably wanting to improve your reality, right? So if you're wanting to prove your reality, it means you probably want to change it. It means the only way to change is to actually change the channel that you're on. So, you know, for instance, if, if I'm sitting there and I want to watch some sports, I can click it over to ESPN, but I can't stay on National Geographic channel and be like, why won't I, why can't I watch the basketball game? Why is this not, the basketball game is not coming on. The basketball game is not coming on. It's not coming on. It's not coming on and get pissed off that it's not on it. When in reality, if I want to watch the basketball game, I need to simply change the channel. So if I'm miserable, I need to change my channel to be happy. If I'm unsuccessful and I want to be successful, I need to change my channel to the success channel. If I want more love in my life, I need to change my channel. You literally create your own reality. This whole thing that you're in, you're creating it. And you may have heard people talk about this before. It might sound weird and woo-woo. Like you create your own reality. You literally do create your own reality. Everything around you is a fabric of your mindset and what's going on inside of your head. Why do I say this? Well, because if you've never heard me talk about the brain before, there's something called the reticular activating system inside of your brain. The reticular activating system is a part of your brain that literally filters out everything except for just this tiny little sliver. So at any moment in time, right now, your brain can be taking in up to 2 trillion bits of information. Now your brain can't handle that, so it filters out most of it, but 2 trillion bits of information. So if I sit and think about all of the things that are around me, I'm just going to talk about real quick all of the things that are around me that I can see. So I have my computer right here. I have my mic right here. I have a camera that's in front of me. I have a light that's over there. I have two lights that are next to me. I have the desk that I'm on. I've got everything that's on the desk. I've got sticky notes. I've got my phone that's sitting here with the charger. There's a million things that are literally in my line of sight that if I wanted to look at and focus on, I could focus on. But I'm focusing on pretty much none of them because I'm trying to give this message and not think about anything else. That's just what I can see. How about everything that I can hear? I can hear the fan in the room. I can hear the fan on my light. I can hear my voice echoing off of the walls. I can hear my girlfriend talking downstairs. I can hear the, the, the cars passing by outside. There's a million things that I could focus on, on on things that I could hear. Now, what if I were focusing on everything that I can feel? I can feel my shirt that I'm wearing. I can feel my shorts. I can feel the seat that I'm in. I can feel the desk that my arms are on. I can feel the wind, just, you know, the little bit of the wind from the fan brushing against my face. There's trillions of bits of information that could come into your brain at any moment in time, but your brain filters out almost all of them. Do you want to know how much? It goes from 2 trillion bits of information to 200 bits of information per second, which means that it's focusing, it's only focusing on what's relevant to your brain. And I always use this example because it makes the most sense to people. If you've ever gone, like for instance, I got a new truck last year. I didn't notice trucks ever when I had, before I got my truck. I got my truck and I noticed trucks everywhere. Literally, I was like, holy crap, where are all these trucks coming from? 
Now, have you ever done that before? Where you buy a new car and you just see that car everywhere? Why? Because your brain is now focusing on it. The reticular activating system is focusing on it. And it literally still, it's still to this point, even though I've known about the reticular activating system, I've been teaching this for years and years and years, it still blows my mind. The other day, I was uh, I was looking at old pictures on Facebook. I went through someone someone that I know um, from high school and uh, middle school died, and um, I was looking through his profile. And out of nowhere, I was just looking through and I was seeing all these people I haven't seen in years, and I mean years, 10, 15 years. I haven't seen them. Sometimes even longer for some of them. The next day, literally about 24, 30 hours later, maybe I'm at the coffee shop that's down the street from us. And I'm sitting there and a guy walks by with his dog. And I immediately went, oh my God, that's Ryan Baldwin. What is he doing here in Austin? And then he turned and I went, oh, that's not Ryan Baldwin. And then I went, why did my brain think about him? I haven't seen him in like 16 years. And then I realized the reason why my brain thought it was him was because I saw him in a picture the day before. And so it still blows my mind, the reticular activating system and the way that it works. So why do I give you this story? Because if you watch the news, you will think that the world is imploding. It's not. If you watch the, if, if you go to the protests and you're around all the people there at the protest, you will be seeing that the world is changing and you'll probably have some more, um, more optimism to the future. If you go into nature, you'll realize that the world is the same than it's always been. It's still calm. It's still beautiful once you get away from all of those things. If you believe that the world is going to shit, you will see all of the ways that the world is going to shit. If you believe and you're hopeful that we're going to have a better future and you're hopeful about how beautiful our future could be, you will see all of the ways where the world is getting better. If you're a Trump supporter, you will see all of the things that you think make him great. And you'll also see all of the things that you think are making, you know, the other news stations that are trying to tear him down and maybe the fake news or whatever it is. If you hate Trump, then you will see all of the ways where he screws up and all of the ways where you think that he's an idiot. And you'll see all of the ways that the news stations are trying to build him up. You are creating your reality. This stuff all around you is all created in your mind based off of what you're trying to focus on. If you have a victim mentality of I am a victim, then you will think that everything is happening to you and that you are just getting beat up every single day by the world. If you have a champion's mentality, you will see that everything in the world is happening for you. It's all what you want to see. The question is, what do you want to see? Because whatever you focus on, you will see. You will create you are creating your reality. It's freaking mind-blowing, isn't it? It is when you really start to think about it. You create it. The question is, what reality do you want to live in? If you want to continue thinking that you're a victim and that the woe is me mentality and everything just happens to me and that this world is such a negative place and that God or the universe or whatever it is hates me and maybe the next life around... You're going to find all of the ways that things are negative and everything that's screwed up. If you want to search for all the things and the reasons why life is beautiful, you'll find them. Your brain is like cosmic Google. It will find whatever you ask it to find. How do you focus on what you, how do you get it to find those things? Whatever you focus on. If you want to watch the news, you're going to see how the world is going to crap. If you walk outside and talk to someone young, you're going to go, wow. I'm really hopeful for the future because this young person seems to have more empathy than any person that I grew up with. It's all what you focus on. You create your reality. There's trillions of bits of information that could come into your brain per second. Your brain filters out everything but 200. What do you want those 200 to be? See, if you want more happiness in your life, Focus on the things that make you happy. If you want to be more happy in your life, focus on the things that are you can be grateful for in the morning. You set your reticular activating system with everything that you do 
every thought that you have, everything that you see, everything that you see, everyone that you talk to, everything that you hear, everything that you touch, you're literally creating this reality. Are you fearful? Well, are you? Do you wake up and you you worry too much? It's because that's what you're setting your reticular activating system to look for. You're looking for things to be afraid of. Are you scared? If you are, you're probably looking for things to be scared of. Do you have anxiety? You're probably searching for things to worry about. You're, you're worrying too much about the future. You're living too much in the future and probably worrying and having anxious thoughts about things that never usually even happen in the first place, right? Do you want more peace? Well, what would bring you more peace? Wake up every single morning and ask yourself the question, what would make me feel more peaceful? Why don't I focus on bringing those things into my day today? Do you want more happiness? Like I said a few episodes ago, make a list of all of the things that make you happy and then focus on how you can bring as many of those things into your day as possible. Do you want more love? What would make you feel more loved? What do you need to do to feel more loved? Do you need another person or can you find love in yourself? Can you do things that you love? If you are more grateful, if you are more happy, do you feel like you'd feel more loved? Because here's the thing. If you don't like your reality, it's your fault. You've created it. Now, I understand for a lot of you guys that are listening, you've never even thought about this before. But now you're going, oh, crap, this does make a lot of sense. A light bulb's popping up. So you've created your reality. That's okay. No big deal. Because if you've created it right now based off of past thoughts, that means that you can also create your future based off of present thoughts and off of other future thoughts. So if you're trying to change it, if you want to feel happier, if you want to feel more peace, if you want to feel more grateful, if you want to think about how beautiful life is, why don't you wake up every single morning and set your reticular activating system off of what you feel that you want? I'll be honest with you. I woke up the other day and I went on to face, or it was, what was it, Facebook, Instagram? I don't even know which one I was on. It was about 15 minutes. I felt like shit for the next couple hours because I saw the way that people were talking to each other, the way they were treating each other and the stuff that was going on in the news. I, I accidentally set my reticular activating system to feel like shit that day. And so I noticed it a couple hours, like literally after it, after about 15 minutes of looking, I was like, why did I do this to myself? I literally just wanted to go out and send a text message. And somehow I got into that infinite spiral of social media. And I noticed, oh my God, I just set my reticular activating system to feel like crap. What can I do to reprogram myself for the day? And then so I said, okay, what would make me feel better? Listening to a podcast, reading a book, going on to you know, YouTube and looking at some of my mentors and the people that I, maybe I could call a friend and have a conversation with them. Realize the people that you're talking to are setting your reticular activating system. I don't talk to a whole lot of people. I talk to a whole lot of people right now, but I have a very, very small friends group. And the reason why is because I've gotten rid of people and that sounds wrong. It gotten rid of makes it sound like I completely got them out of my life. I don't talk to very many people throughout the day. There's only a few people. And the reason why is because those people set my reticular activating system to have the life that I want to have. It's a small circle. I talk to my best friend Dean every single day, at least once a day, two, three, four times a day sometimes. We talk throughout the day. Why? Because we've been pushing each other for 14 years to create the lives that we want. There's very few people that you can do that with. So if you have someone that's in your life that's negative, ask yourself, are they setting my reticular activating system to a place that I don't want it to be at? And if they are, how can I spend less time with them and start spending time with people who would actually make me positive, who are pushing me, who are motivating, who make me want to be better? Because ultimately, every single bit of information, all five of your senses are setting your reticular activating system in some sort of way. It is creating your reality. You are creating everything that you see around you, this giant video game simulation, right? That's what it basically is. You're setting it, but now you can't act like you're not. Now that you know, you can never unknow it. Once you see it, you can't unsee it. Now you've seen it. They always say when you're in the jar, you can't read the label. You've been in the jar for a long time probably. Let's take you out of the jar. Now you've seen the label, and now you know that you have to change your reality to what you want it to be. So if you want to create the life that you want to create, 
You are creating it based off of what you focus on. The question is, what do you need to focus on and what do you need to stop focusing on? Hey, thanks so much for watching this video. If you wanna learn even more about mastering your mind, click right here and watch this video as well. One of the things that I realized is that I believe that psychedelics will change the world and if I have such a large platform, why in the hell would I not talk about it?